met. Happy first day of Vlogmas. So I'm shooting here in my pajamas, just chilling and actually pretty much getting ready in a hurry like I do every single day. We're starting Vlogmas in the beginning of a pretty busy week, but I have a lot of really exciting things to share with you this week, and not to mention this weekend will be my birthday, so festivities are in order. Um, so yeah, I'm still in my PJs. I still need to have some breakfast. I always do my makeup first so that that is done. Um, and I have some really exciting things to show you. So why don't we go and do that first and then I'll show you what I'm having for breakfast and then I will have to head off to work. Oh, and something I wanted to mention kind of early days is I will be sharing with you little bits of my entire life for the entire month all the way until Christmas. I will be vlogging every day unless something stops me in which case I do have a couple of pre-filmed videos that I'll put up so you still get a video up every day but I'm gonna try not to use them and we'll see how things will go um, but I won't be able to really take you to work with me and I just wanted to kind of address that really early on because it's a huge confidentiality issue to have a camera around the office with documents everywhere because I'm a messy lawyer like all other lawyers um, but you still will be able to see me in the morning at lunch and after work and of course on weekends and that definitely gave me pause when considering whether I should do vlogmas again this year but to me like as long as I have a YouTube channel I will do it because it's something that I enjoy so much when others do it and I also think it has a really nice element of reality so you know my place isn't always gonna be perfect as a background when you see it not everything that you'll see during the month will be Instagram worthy and to me that's really a special thing and it's a way of just kind of sharing real life and it feels really festive to be doing this as well without further rambling let's go take a look at some exciting things I have on the counter here that I've been wanting to show you and kind of stashing for a while oh by the way how cool is this monstrous Christmas tree that we got. It's so majestic, you guys. I just come home every single day and just stare at it. And yes, it's undecorated, although it does have a skirt that is looking uneven here. Hold on, let me move that with my foot. That's a bit better. Um, and it has my Lush stuff underneath because I thought that would look nice. But uh, my mom's on the way or going to be on the way um, from the island and she is going to bring us all the family Christmas decorations to put up here. To come say hello. Yes, hello. Aw, you are going to be very famous this month, like extra famous. So because Vlogmas is pretty much like a video version of an advent calendar, I also thought it would be fun to have some real advent calendars. And they're so much fun. They're like such a toy for adults, um, even though actually the one on the left is pretty much a real actual toy. It's from Lego, so it has little Lego buildable toys for each day of the month. And it's starting to get bright, yay. So it's almost time to get to work. I had better get my act together here, guys. So on the left-hand side, I have the Lego one, and and on the right, I have this David's tea one. So every day I thought it would be fun to end the vlog with a cup of tea and a chat. And so I will be sampling my first day of Vlogmas tea tonight. So I'm really excited about that. And then over here, I have this really gorgeous mug that I picked up um, along with the advent calendar. And let me show you what mine looks like because I have my own version. And then I'm going to be giving away the other one. You can see how gorgeous it is. It has little penguins and little gold trees and it's just so festive it's like a winter wonderland on a cup and it's really useful as well because it's got the little filter in it so you don't have to use any tea bags or anything like that unless you want to you can just use um, loose leaf tea so that's really handy and here's the spare which is gonna be for you guys so this will be the first giveaway of vlogmas and we're gonna keep it really simple for this one I'm actually gonna give it away in this video it's open internationally not associated with YouTube standard rules ask your parents if you're a minor um, you'll find all those rules down below um, but all you need to do is leave me a comment um, what can I ask oh maybe what um, like temperature or weather it is where you live because I know you guys live all over the place so I really like doing giveaways like this that I can just open internationally and I'm really curious to see if you guys are freezing too although that said I'm a lot less freezing than a lot of you guys I know that because you're always asking me 
for style tips um, in the snow and stuff like that. We definitely don't have that here in Vancouver, but it is getting colder. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be giving away this mug in this video. The giveaway will close when I edit uh, tomorrow's video that makes sense yes um, it will close when I edit tomorrow's video and I will announce it in that video please um, leave a comment down below make sure that your messaging is kind of turned on on YouTube um, and oh you need to be subscribed as well to enter my giveaways um, because it should be for people who actually like my videos um, so yeah that's our first giveaway that we will be doing and I really hope you guys like it I'm excited to just kind of keep it simple and really get it out to you as fast as I can so make sure that you kind of leave your comment promptly because it will go by fast um, pretty much it's like a one day giveaway then um which will last a little bit longer i have this so let me kind of situate you guys on something that way i can show you my big vlogmas giveaway prize which is a necklace from tiffany so i want to show you what it looks like and um i'll give you a little bit of the details of how i'm running that giveaway which will kind of be happening throughout the month okay so now you can see a little bit more properly by the way how festive are my nails i'm a perfect hand model to show you this tiffany's necklace that i'm giving away um so i I'm so excited about this you guys I got this for you a while ago it was with the idea at first to do like a thank you for 20,000 subscribers but I passed that so fast um, that now it's almost 30 and it's mostly just a thank you for watching these vlogmas videos and just kind of sticking around and um, being a part of this channel which is really starting to feel just like this awesome community of smart women so I love that um, and I'm so happy to still be doing this for you and as they Thank you I will be giving one of you this sterling silver Tiffany key necklace you can see it's got a gorgeous chain on it I got a really nice chain that had some sub some substance to it because a lot of them are so dainty that they will end up being tangled so this one is still dainty but uh, it's got a little bit more kind of shine to it than most of them do so I'm really happy I picked that I think and then it's got this gorgeous little key charm on it which is so feminine and pretty and it will work with pretty much any outfit I wanted something really easy to wear that a lot of people would like so that is going to be my big vlogmas giveaway prize let me see if I can show you close up a little bit more there we go that's a little bit better um, so that is going to be my big vlogmas giveaway prize and what will happen with this is it will be a little bit more like an advent calendar which is why I was showing you mine which I'll open later by the way at the end of the day when I get home from work a little bit more relaxed I do have a long day and a lot of stuff to do today so this necklace will be given to a one of you at some point during vlogmas and because this is going to be like an advent calendar indeed you should probably think of it kind of like this where the Tiffany necklace is in one of these boxes and these boxes metaphorically are my videos which means I'm basically announcing this giveaway today but it's not going to happen until one of my vlogmas videos and I'm not going to tell you which one I don't even know which one yet I haven't decided yet um, so come back and make sure you watch all of them because it is going to be inserted in one of the videos and I will go over all the rules as well at that point but just to let you know now it's going to be really simple just like the mug one that's happening today it will be pretty much just entering a comment and being subscribed and that is it but you need to make sure that you come back to all the videos so you may as well subscribe now if you're not already because um, then you can just have easy access to all of the vlogmas videos and then figure out which one it's going to be inserted in and I'll make it very clear when I do um, give it away so that will happen at some point later this month and I'm really really excited about that and it's absolutely open internationally so no matter where you're from you should totally um, stick around and enter it so now I can put this stuff away don't forget to enter for this and I had better make myself some breakfast because it is almost time to go to work and I am still in my pajamas do you guys have this like every single day of your lives um, I feel like there's only one person who doesn't deal with stuff like that and he is right here Okay guys, so we're gonna make a delicious breakfast, which is actually mostly already made. But first, I wanna gross you out with what it looks like before. So this is my pre-made oatmeal from for, for the weekend. It's steel cut and it's got a piece of cinnamon in it, which by the way, makes it taste amazing. And I highly recommend that, but it looks so gross, right? Like it gets all solid. 
Um, but it does work really well as a quick breakfast. And I tend to just go ahead and top that with some berries or some apples and some milk. So I'm gonna put all that together and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finally eating some breakfast. All right, so here's a perfect example of a not Instagram worthy breakfast, but it's delicious and I highly recommend it. I have some peanut butter on top that I need to mix in and then it has blueberries and raspberries in it. And of course, because I am Canadian, it has about, I don't know, a half tablespoon of maple syrup that I put on top and it just makes it so delicious. Okay. I'm gonna eat this and then I'd better put some clothes on because this was not gonna work um, for the office. So I will see you guys when I'm dressed and I'll show you my outfit when I have the chance. So here is my outfit. It is a dress from Club Monaco and I'm wearing my own Tiffany Key charms, which I really like. They're super dainty and my Chanel GST as well, which is so roomy. And I'm wearing my nine West pumps with a nice pointy toe and a high heel that's still really comfortable for running around all day, which is what I'll be doing. So I just left the office. Everyone is staring at me here in Pacific Center because I'm filming myself, but I thought it would be a good time to have a little catch up and let you know what my plans for the evening are. I do a lot of my shopping here, by the way. It's just so convenient. It's really near to my office and it has smaller versions of a lot of the stores that are on Robson. So um, tonight's pretty much like a very average quiet night for me. Um, so I'm just meandering through people. Um, I am heading to the gym right now. I usually go to the gym every Tuesday and Thursday. I do a strength training class there that I really like. Uh, which is so fun actually because I've pretty much like grown to be friends with the people I work out with and it really helps me to like want to go and the peer pre pressure really helps as well because if I don't go I definitely get a couple messages. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that and then get showered and change back into my clothes and then I'm going to meet my boyfriend and we are going to go to Costco which I adore and he despises. I need a bunch of supplies for my waffle party on Saturday which is gonna be I think about 10 people so I do need to make quite a lot of waffles. I'm ready for my workout so I really like my gym here it's like such a nice setup this is the women's change room and it's empty by the way so I'm not intruding on anybody's privacy hopefully unless someone's hiding. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and do my strength training and I will see you guys after. I'm so out of breath. Um, I just walked over here. It's so windy outside, but I thought I would give you like the sneaky little but permitted tour. Um, this is my boyfriend's office. So um, this is where he spends all his days pretty much and it's a tech company, so these guys are like really huddled, whereas I have my own office, as most lawyers do. In tech, they tend to be really like, um, just kind of tightly knit, and they talk about stuff all the time, which lawyers definitely don't do. Um, so yeah, it's a really cool office space. Um, it, you can see it's got like beautiful bay windows. They got a little Christmas tree too, which is super cute. Um, and it's in Gastown, which is a really historic, but also tech-filled part of Vancouver. And the main reason I'm up here, full disclosure, is not so much to give you a tour of the cool space, although that is a fun bonus, but also because I have been told that there's food somewhere around here that was left behind. And as a starving young professional, I feel like it's my duty to eat it, except I don't actually know where I'm going, so I'd better talk to Chris and see where the food is. Um, but apparently it's like leftover from a meeting or something. So, I'm just gonna sit down in someone's chair. Um, oh, that's better. All right, so I'm just gonna have a bite and then I will probably see you guys. I love these spinny chairs at Costco. We are in Costco. Chris is escaping or trying to. Very typical of guys in Costco. So Chris, how does it feel to be in your own personal hell? Here's a shoulder. 
and chasing him. It's wonderful. It's wonderful, okay. It's a Christmas miracle. Apparently. Um, so let me show you so you can tell me what you think. I think this is gorgeous. It's a velvet throw and it is so soft and it's $17. Okay, I've made a deviation from our journey to look at the Christmas stuff. See if there's anything really good that I want. I like that, actually, that's pretty. Uh, and that's it, no. Okay, maybe there isn't anything I want. Uh, what do you think, guys? These are kind of pretty, too. They're kind of big, though, for my taste. So here is pretty much a selection of what I consider to be the best things here, other than my, my beautiful blanket. These are my two favorite cheeses. Love the Saint Andre, and then the Cambenzola. Then there's melon, sweet potatoes. This is amazing if you eat meat, as is this. The lamb at Costco is amazing. I got chicken, because I'm making chicken and waffles. Oranges for mimosas, berries for me in the morning. Yams, because those are good to have. Avocados are the best here, and of course, some parmigiano and my butter, and sorry, I still need butter, and my milk to make waffles and yeast. So we need two more things. All right guys, it's a little bit later now and if you can hear the magical sound of the kettle boiling, um, Fufu is also eating his dinner, so everyone is happy now. I've been fed mostly on cheese um, from the leftover cheese board and charcuterie board that was in Chris's office, which was, you know, not my most virtuous dinner, but it was free and highly delicious and very available to, to starving people, so that worked out well. I put all my Costco groceries away, and now I'm thinking that it's about time to open some advent calendars. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for so long, because we got this Lego Costco one quite a long time ago. So let's see if I can show you where the one is. It's right here, and I know this because I was totally scoping it out this morning. So let's see what's inside. And then Chris and I will probably build this one together that's really cool they're all little pockets what is it some kind of little car thing you can see it's like two little car things so that'll be fun i really really like lego but now it is time or should i say tea time to have some tea so let's see where the one is oh it's kind of in a similar place as the lego one actually Okay, let's see what this one is. I really, I have no idea what it is. I have not scoped this out. And I love the way it's packaged though. I think this is so nice. It was expensive. I think it was around $60, but I don't know. I'm really excited about trying all these teas this month because I haven't really tried that many from David. So this is called Sleigh Ride. See, it, all, all their teas look really good because a lot of them have little pieces of fruit um, or even flowers in them. So they're really cool. Um, sleigh ride. Okay, let's see what the ingredients are in this. We have apple, hibiscus, pineapple, papaya. Okay, so it should be kind of a fruity tea. Maybe this is enough for two times. I'll have to kind of try that and I'll let you know next time whether I feel like half of this is enough or not because their tea is pretty flavorful. So it probably depends on the tea as well. All right, you guys, so let's give this a taste test. I'm kind of scared. It's probably really hot, but you can see Look at the pretty color. It looks almost like mulled wine. Like it looks really, really good. It smells very like berry heavy, which wasn't like a major note of it. It was more like hibiscus. It's really good. It's very like comforting and it has a really nice, like very festive um, scent. It definitely, oh, you know what? It smells like cinnamon too strongly which is really nice I'm drinking it out of my pretty mug so I think the time has come or the hour has come more accurately to say good night and I will see you in a vlogmas day two tomorrow that way I have a bit of a chance to edit this and get it up at a not overly crazy hour I'm gonna drink my tea edit this vlog have a good night and I will see you tomorrow